think knowing that we're going to die can be one of the greatest motivators of how to live. I don't want to keep interacting with people when they're at the end of their life with all of these regrets because I've seen personal growth until that final breath. I've seen relationships be mended and I want to start those conversations and connections much earlier in people's lives. Death and dying doesn't always have to be a doom and gloom conversation. There's movements across the country that the earlier we have those conversations, the more we are actually talking about and learning how to live life and enjoy it. I get asked all the time, why do you love talking about the relationship between death and dying? And initially it's hard to answer that because I feel like that's how we were innately designed. You know, as a child I used to play in a cemetery, create these stories about people who had passed because our story is who we are. And it's never too late to rewrite who you are at this moment or the legacy you want to leave for your loved ones as well. And it doesn't have to be scary. It doesn't have to be boring. We want to make sure that you talk to yourself the way that you talk to your loved ones. And I feel like that's a big component of what Lane's Counseling Consulting and More can do for you, your family, but also your company. How we work together, how we see life together to make this world a better place.